Okay, so here I am once again. Today, lots of sanding. What I'm gonna do before I do the sanding, I'm just gonna kind of, I got the tiger, well, my little tiger torch here. I'm gonna kind of heat the wood up, warm it up a bit so it doesn't gum up. Uh, I got this uh, 36 or 40 grit sanding disc on here. So I'm gonna heat the wood up, warm it up a bit, just the outside. Because if you use these, on wet wood it gums it up okay so i could possibly put a new one on here but uh i won't film doing that but so that's what i'm gonna do burn the wood a bit sand it and then the back side I, I think i'm gonna put a real deep burn in this wood to get this salmon to pop so the, the salmon will be lighter color and then the wood will be all darker color and you won't see such uh kind of weird lines like that up there it'll just all blend together Okay, so plans changed. Uh, the homeowner just came out, dug by the river and his wife, and I spoke to him about the salmon, and they said, well, yeah, it looks like a salmon. It doesn't look like a salmon. But then I said, well, let's just uh, let's just invent our own fish. And, she, and his dog's wife's like, yeah, we'll just invent the fish. So we'll try and maybe we'll call it like a, a dug salmon in the river or something like that. I don't know. But carry on. So what I uh, did here, this uh, die grinder, just cuts all bit okay I'm having a hard time seeing the screen from the light but I kind of dug in here and cleaned up all these channels in here for the lines so now I didn't bother burning it it makes no sense that the, the sander will work good this wood is wet I can feel how damp it is but it still sands so I'm gonna go along now and sand everything and it'll see all in the million years. Yep. Then I'm gonna shape the salmon. I gotta take this big bump off. Doug, Doug by the river says he wants this big bump off. Maybe we'll carve this in here, like this, and we'll make another spot here, and we'll call it a cowfish, or a koi. So, I'm just taking the salmon fish uh, one step at a time. Take it down a bit, bring it, you know, take it down, try and shape it. I see the biggest mistake. The first mistake I made is I tried to copy with my projector a carved fish, okay? It's a carved fish. It's not 100% to scale. If I would have used my projector and traced out a real salmon, it would have been to scale. So I know that for next time for, for realism carving, use it exact a real fish. If you follow what I mean, this is a wood carving. Instead, next time I'll go online, Google salmon fish, and find the fish that I want, and then it will be so much, so much more of a real fish. But I'm not blaming this carving on that. What I've done here, I can see it's right here. I've taken too much. It should be fatter here. This belly should go like this, and come here. It's okay. It's gonna work out. It's gonna work out. Could be a sturgeon. All I gotta do is carve some little spikes on it. Okay, so I've pulled out my little 140 uh, battery saw and I've done some more shaping. So you know, I my problem is I don't think I've done that much shaping in my carving career. So now I'm getting into shaping, right? So you see the shapes here. Now I'm gonna shape the tail, make it kind of like swooshing. So each this piece and this piece is sticking out and this is pushed in just shaping and these fins here I'm gonna after this is done I'm gonna cut a little notch and I'm just gonna glue them in it makes them simpler for that too but I got this little one on there maybe some of this needs to come off so it's not a humpback I don't want to have a humpback uh, well that means they're uh, fish salmon sturgeon that means they're about to die so anyways Okay, so I got the gills in there. I got to get my uh, Mampatool eyeball cutter. Uh, I don't have that um, here. I thought I brought it. It pisses me off. But so they sanded the salmon really good. And um, I used the, this um, disc. I've used this one for the whole carving so far. I haven't replaced it. It's 36 grit. And I sanded everything as much as I think it needs to be sanded. So there you go so far. 
Um, like I said, these fins down here, I'm just gonna cut a slit and I'll glue them in after. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna try and burn. I wanna burn deep around the salmon to highlight it, right? And then all burn around back here. Then I'll do my, just like with the uh, poly shade, right? Burn it deep, then hit it with a flap sander and you get your high points. If this wood, I know this wood is soaking wet. Um, if it's too wet, I'll burn it another day. Okay, so. I didn't get to, uh, it's 3.30 in the afternoon, I didn't get to finish up that uh, wood spirit. I still got lots of details and stuff to do on that. But here we go with the salmon. So you see it's like a stream. There's his waves behind his tail and waves up there. So I kind of separated the front from the back. So what I got to do now is I got this, uh, you get these on eBay. It's a nylon wheel. I'm gonna go around and soften up all this burn. I might even uh, hit the high points with something, a sander. But anyways, that's it so far. I still gotta do the eye. Still got lots of work to do on this salmon. Uh, let's do a time lapse. Yep. you chink I mean what do you think I think it looks more like a salmon now its tail might be a little bit long but uh, I still gotta carve the eye in there and uh, it says what it is it says what it is it's a salmon going upstream to spawn oh maybe this is a male salmon it's skinnier so let's do a full uh, visual of this whole carving so far Okay, we'll start right here and we'll just slowly go around it. So carving this back um, has made me have to carve the whole piece, right? Uh, yeah, so I'll just leave it there. <coughs> you can see here this chainsaw marks are. I didn't sand it off because I think it's uh, neat to leave marks like that. Just lets it know it's a chainsaw carving. So that was about, uh, I don't know how long it was today, maybe four hours. Um, they're calling for heavy rain the next few days. So I'm gonna have to tarp this guy up very good because I still got to detail the eyes. Um, still got lots of like, take the fix the hair up, take it back and make it to, attach to the forehead. Still lots to work to do on this face. Cause you see after I cut the forehead back, the hair's up here now, so now I need to take this. But they said they like it like that, but I says, well, I need to carve this hair into the forehead. These eyes, smooth them out and just give them some burn marks around there. He's not gonna have pupils. And let's see this side. Uh, make sure I don't step on Doug down by the river's plants. There's that. So this face is kind of neat. Uh, Doug's and his wife's friends in town visiting. And their living room's right there. So they can see this carving through their living room. And there was a sunset right here the other day. The sun was popping up or going down over here. So their friend got a beautiful picture of... Uh, this corner of this face with the sunset coming down so it's all orange sky and you just see like the top half of this face so they can enjoy it from their from their uh, living room and here's the uh so what's gonna happen with this i think uh i hope doug by the river is leaning on sea tolling it because well sea tall is the best give it three nice coats oh yes oh yes okay so that's it everybody i gotta clean up here um, get some tarps over this because like I said heavy rains coming for a few days 
means I can do some Dremel carving. Hope everybody's good and um, having fun carving and being safe. Carving Fusion, over and out. And one more thing, don't forget I gotta carve those fins in down here, so I'll carve slots and I'll glue them in or little use little nails or something. I'll get it figured out. Oh yeah, another thing about uh, on-site carving for any of you beginning chainsaw carvers are, it's always a good idea to, uh, I think anyways, this is from when I had a roofing company, try and make it as clean by the end of the day as you can. So, you know, cause it might be raining here for a week. It says anyway, it actually says it could be raining for two weeks, but you just don't know what the weather here in uh, Canada, Vancouver. But uh, I just like to kind of clean it up. That's okay. Um, and that's uh, one inch plywood up there. I put up there by myself. I got some bricks on it. So hopefully when Doug in the river comes home, um, he can put some screws in it. That's why I left that ladder there. Yeah, it wasn't fun getting that piece up there, but I got it. I did it. Yep, carry on.